How's it going? It is a summer's day here in Sofia, Bulgaria. Now what am I doing here, you may ask, in the grass under a tree in the shade while well, there is a terrace right over there. I am actually waiting for my bus and I took uh, alcohol-free beer from the store. So in half an hour I'll take the bus to Buchovo, Grad Buchovo. So I'm doing a bit of minimalist exploring right now because Buchovo is a city, small town right north of Sofia where I can basically get for free with my public transport pass. I was initially planning to do a weekend trip to Plovdiv but it's like 30 something degrees and I do not want to spend three hours on a train in this heat. I don't enjoy it anymore so I'll just do some shorter trips around that also save me a hotel night here and there. So why not go to Buchovo where there's a few monasteries around. I've been already but it's in the hills so might as well just go out. A little language lesson. What is that over there? I mean the yellow letters. It is Vsitskoza Ribolova. And means uh, everything for fishing sports or in Dutch alles for hengelsport. That's what it means. Anyway, I'm still waiting for the bus. Should come in 10 minutes. I have this great talent of always missing buses, and then in Sofia you find yourself always waiting 10, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, the intervals are the worst thing about public transport in Sofia because things take forever to to come. Right, so I've made it to Grat Buchovo. Technically, Buchovo is a city. What we see here is the Kulturendom, uh, the cultural house of the town. If I'm not mistaken, it's a bit of a mining area. We have Kremikovci nearby as well, which is for uh, rock materials, that sort of stuff, excavation. Buchovo nowadays, it used to be a quiet town, but it is in a very slow revival because it can be considered a very wide suburb of the city of Sofia. It's not my first time here, I've come a few times and what I typically like to admire is the Stalinist architecture of the uh, town because this sort of buildings, especially with the logo on top, are contrary to popular belief quite rare in Bulgaria. See, we have the statue in front as well. I remember at some point this used to be open, I think, on the side and actually went in. I think there's an entrance on the side. So this used to be a real workers' town uh, with complexes uh, around it as well, just as you would see in Russia. It's really based on the Stalinist idea that you worked in a certain place, you were provided housing. It could be a Khrushchevka, let's say, that uh, living unit. Yeah, it's quite nice to see. I wouldn't live here, of course, but yeah. Uh, the revival is happening because now people are buying properties. You have nature nearby, which is actually pretty good. And that's why slow revival is starting, which is a good thing. We have a war memorial as well. The Serbian-Bulgarian uh, War from 1885. The Balkan War of 1912 and 13. First, second... Uh, World War as well, so basically all of it combined, and names of uh, probably local residents who passed away. Don't know whose uh, statue this is. There's another one over there, hidden behind uh, the tree. I like that they at least left the statues and they're not taken to some museum be good if these buildings actually get a sort of reopening as whatever uh, school or whatnot even a hotel I don't know if it could be for ecotourism there's a lot of hiking trails nearby that are not uh, cleared up let's say but once it is commercialized it could work quite easily inside it's pretty much nothing now so this terrace has been here since a long time because I remember having a coffee here like 
eight years ago, a long time ago. But the good thing is that the back side of the cultural house has been renovated, it seems, at least the outside walls. And around here is a fairly pleasant park. It's really nice. Here you see one of those communal buildings of uh, Bukovo with a lovely dog here. It's not used to hearing English, probably. What it says is. Go, I think I just woke him up. Anyway, information about a historically relevant person living here, Dimitar Marangozov. That's an interesting last name. Marangozov. Never heard that name before. Took this Kodini Zivia, says Historia Tanabuchovo, Dimitar Marangozov. Kravet Jobstestvanik. I think that's a cow uh, farmer, and Obstestvanik, it's a, uh, how should I say it? A uh, person who brings people together, it could be a farm holder as well, like, uh, yeah, Obstestvanik. Community kind of person. This is the back of the Stalinist building that actually showed in the beginning, and we can just see how huge it has been once. I don't know what type of function it served, but we can still see the cupboards inside and everything, right? So a huge administrative office probably of, could be mining workers, whatever. I think it is mining working because, just because of the communal buildings around, that's where the workers used to live, right? It's all abandoned now, not functioning. More of those administrative buildings. Uh, nearby this is all abandoned as well, but there's probably nothing inside because people have obviously been in. Because it is right in the city, so. And you can just see that as soon as you're outside Sofia, it already gets quite exotic, at least for Western eyes. Everything is kind of different, doesn't necessarily mean it's poor, right? You can see the cars. Because having a house here is not a bad thing. The houses are big. Nature nearby is good, climate is fine. You're near Sofia, so don't confuse it with poverty. These uh, buildings are for sale, even in Bukovo, or the apartments, let's say, and they're not cheap at all. You can easily pay uh, upwards from 80,000 euros for those right now, for just a square uh, apartment. That's not cheap and more as well. It could be 100 something because of the proximity near the city everything became expensive. And we can see judging by the cars that uh, these are just workers who live in Sofia and make a decent wage. See? So things are changing in Bulgaria but it's either up or under. Many people are falling behind and struggling many people are doing exceedingly well middle class is disappearing